My name is Matthew. My wife had a drink problem long before our marriage. But now it's beginning to destroy our lives. I'm Kate. I'm the only one left dealing with my mum's drinking and I'm trying very hard to escape. Um, um, Lucy. I hear about my dad. Uh, my friends have come to keep me company. Um, don't really want to say anything. I know this is terrible, but I'd love a drink. <clears throat> Lucy? Uh, Matthew. Uh, it was a bit of an ordeal, but I thought you did very well. Uh, would you like to have a little word with Kate? She's about your age, and I know you'll have a lot in common. It's just... I don't understand what you're all talking about. I want to help my dad. All I hear from you lot is how you want to detach from the alcoholic in your lives. I want to cure him, not escape him. Well, your father will never be cured until he admits he's an alcoholic. Has he done that? No. What else can I do? You can't just fix your dad. By trying to change them, we just avoid our own problems. Look, if you lot aren't going to help me, then I'll just do things my own way. But, Lucy. Gas bills overdue. What? I haven't even been there. And the rent's due in Friday. Unless... Unless what? Karen's thinking about advertising your room. Fine. Do what you want. In here. I came for a date. You look lovely. Our date was yesterday. Huh. Today is yesterday and yesterday is today and vice versa. How'd you get in? Your man in the door is a Celtic supporter. <sighs> look, Megan, let me explain. In fact, no, let me make it up to you. Today is going to be twice as good as yesterday and nowhere near as good as tomorrow. What's going on with us? I only see you about once a fortnight and you're full of shit when I do. Oh, no, Megan. You said you were going to help me look for my mother. You said you were going to start acting like a proper boyfriend. Ah, um, but you can't expect me to completely change overnight. And as for your mother, now, I have an idea about this place in Peckham, yeah. Now, I think I'm onto something. I'm fed up of all your lying, Gus. See you later. Hi. Just thought I'd look in. See how your dad is. Why didn't you call? Uh, I didn't think you were talking to me. Lucy, about the other night. Um, we're not talking about the other night. No. No. N not if you don't want to. No. You're a womanizer, Daniel Watson. The sad thing is, if you're trying it on with me, you really have fallen on hard times. Well, you were worried about your dad. It wasn't a good time to bother you. And I just fancied a snog because I was missing Gus. And I just thought you might need a hand with your dad. Did I say I needed a hand? No. If you're sure everything's okay. Yeah. I'm okay. Dad's okay. Okay. Bye then. You know, I've been thinking about alcoholics. Yeah? I reckon you're an alcoholic too. What? And me. We both are. <laughs> you mad. Can you go a day without a drink? God, again. Like when? Last night? You had some of my wine. Oh, yeah. And some of that old vodka. Oh, yeah. I think we should both go two weeks without booze. No way. It's Gavin's party next week. <laughs> what about until then? Ah. Uh, all right. Good.
Sorry, miss. Find him lying on the pavement. Uh, no, look, no, look, it's all right, George, now. Me daughter's here, right? Eh? <laughs> Thanks. What happened? No, I don't want to talk about it. Did they charge you? The subject is closed. I have a right to know what happened. Oh, so I'm to be accountable to my own daughter, yeah? You can't go on like this. You've got to admit you've got a drink problem. Oh, so that's it. Yes. You little madam. Don't you ever talk to me like that. Why not? You know, I used to think you were so much fun. And now I realise you're just a stupid pisshead that's made my mother's life misery for the last 25 years. How dare you! <laughs> you stupid girl. <laughs> Now look what you've done, eh? <laughs> I so wanted you to have something special for your anniversary. Well, that's not the first thing he's broken. And it won't be the last. I've never seen him like that before. I'm sure he didn't mean to hurt you. No. Lucy, you've been a wonderful daughter to your father. But do you not think it's time you moved back into your own place? Yeah. You're not stopping for lunch, Mr Simmons? No, I'll get something later. You should take care of yourself. I don't seem to get the time these days. Oh. Would you like some of mine? You sure? Oh, yeah, there's plenty to spare. Well, thanks. It's very kind. I'll tell you what. Why don't we go into the office? It's a bigger desk. <laughs> you should have seen what he was wearing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, What could I say? <laughs> Anne, reception didn't tell me you were here. I wanted to surprise you, Ivor. Nice to see that someone's looking after you. This is Meridia. It's really none of my business. My office assistant. And personal chef. Look, if you've come here just to spy on... I'll just be outside. Stay. I just came to say that since we're both clearly... Moving on. We should do some serious talking. Yes, but not here. I agree. Let's see our solicitors and get this divorce on the road, OK? Betty? You're miles away. You weren't listening to what I said. Yes, I was. You're talking about Ben and Sarah. Ben and Sasha. Oh, ben and Sasha. Oh. They coming to the wedding? <laughs> I just spent five minutes explaining why they can't. What on earth were you thinking about? Nothing. Yes, you were. Hmm, clearly something much more important than me. <laughs> OK, thanks. Houston, please. Have a good journey, eh? Hi. I looked for you at lunchtime. I had to go out. Got a few minutes now, though. You walking to the station, Meridian? Yeah, two secs. Good night, Luce. See ya. Hello? Hi, Daniel. Lucy, hi. Uh, I'm glad you called. How's things? Oh, look, I'm really sorry. I'm going to have to ring you back. OK, bye. Hmm. 
Would you uh, like to go out? You are unbelievable. You turn up here out of nowhere, again, and have the cheek to just walk in here and ask me out while you're shagging Megan. And what about Megan? What about her? Gus, you're seeing her. No. Oh, God, Lucy, no. No, she'd like to be seeing me, yeah. She kept phoning me and, OK, yeah, we went out for a drink a few times, but that is all. No, 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 no. She told me. Uh, she has told everyone that we are together. You know, she's jealous of you, Lucy, if truth be told. Then why the hell didn't you call me? Well, obviously, I, I couldn't call here, could I? And every time I called you at the flat, well, you were never there. But you found the flat? They never told me. Well, I didn't think that you wanted to speak to me. Do you want to speak to me? Yeah. I'd forgotten how much fun Gus could be. And for the first time in ages, I hadn't thought of my dad all evening. I mean, I was clinically dead. I know this is the last time I saw you. Yeah, I mean, for ages, yeah. Which is another reason why I never called you. I am a medical mystery. You surprise me, you do. I lay between life and death. And this all took some time. Well, I mean, the story goes on for some time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone looks so romantic here, eh? We're all in love. Half the world is falling for the other half. In fact, grab my drink for me, Lucy. I'm going to have to do something about this. I hope you don't mind me interrupting, but you two are obviously very much in love, yeah. And well, I was wondering whether you'd like one of these roses. I have to say, it does uh, match your tie very well, sir. And it does also go very well with that blazing carroty lipstick. Damn, if you don't mind me saying. Well, it was just a thought. Good luck to you. No takers there. Not a hint of romance. Obviously just in it for the sex. At first, I just thought this was the usual Gus nonsense. Then I realised the roses weren't for me at all. The git was actually trying to sell them. It was funny at first, but only at first. I thought back to when I kissed Gus in the office. He stank of booze, just like my dad. It's going great. Look. Mm. Come on, time to move on. Ladies, 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 let me interest you in these beautiful roses. They're only a pound. Hey, Lucy, 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 Lucy. Just try another couple of pubs, yeah? And then we'll go home? No. Well, we'll go back home now then? Yeah, okay. You go back to wherever it is you live and I'll go back to my place. Come on. Can I come home with you? No. Is something that happened to upset you, Lucy? Yeah. You. I'm sick of you. You kept disappearing. You'd never tell me where you live. You'd never give me your phone number. When you did, it was wrong. You never had any money. You lied. You cheated. And you took advantage of me in every way you could. I really did like you, Gus. I like you too, Lucy, so much. I haven't been able to think about anything else but you for, for weeks now. Oh, yeah. While you're with Megan, 